So today I wanted to show off the colors that I'm going to be using for the Pikachu Pichu balloon blanket. Um, the client is super cool and asked for a fuzzier fabric, so instead of using the cotton that I normally use, this is one of those snuggle flannels. So it'll be a little bit thicker um, and softer than a regular blanket, but at the same time the material costs more and is a little, I don't know, I don't think I'll make most blankets out of this in the future, but <laughs> it is fun to sew with a new fabric. Um, here's the design that we worked out, and I tried to keep the colors simple because there's so many of them, but obviously this is going to be a very bright blanket, and um, I'm really excited. We're going to embroider um, a custom little thing in the corner here that just has my company name on it, and then it'll say for the client. <laughs> she's a real sweet girl and I'm glad that she's been supporting my company for as long as she has so I'm really excited to make her something. I'm entering hour two of the Pika Pichu balloon um, blanket. So I went ahead and cut all the individual pixels into onesies right here and I'm about to sew all the strips together. I just had an avalanche of strips fall over so <laughs> Hopefully they're not too messy, but I'm just going to start sewing them all together, and that'll be for probably the next hour or two. Hour three is a lot of the same. The piles might be moving around. Slowly they're being sewn together, but just still working on sewing the strips together. Alright, hour four. Can you see how thick the dust is coming off this fabric? Like, you can draw with it. <laughs> um... This um, flannel fabric likes to shed a lot, so I'll need to make sure to take good care of my machine and, um, you know, clean it out um, every couple hours. But yeah, I'm still coming along. It's all the different layers that I've sewn together, my to-do piles right there. So, slow but steady wins the race, and hopefully I don't sneeze too much with all this dust. <laughs> Hour 8, and I've got two sheets laid out. I am just thrilled with this quilt. Like the colors are so beautiful that I can't wait to start sewing it together. Um, you can see it starts getting a little bit complicated around here with a lot of single one pixels. Um, this is actually the strings of the quilt where the balloons are connected to the Pokemon. But um, yeah, so I've laid out a little more than a third of it. I'm going to try and keep going and get it all laid out tonight. It is currently 2 a.m., so <laughs> yeah, once I get it all laid out, I'm going to go to bed. So it's our, we're going into the ninth hour, and I'm exhausted. It's 3.20 in the morning, so I'm just going to call it a night. I didn't finish the exact goal that I'd set for myself, but I feel I worked pretty hard today, and I deserve to go to bed. Uh, so we hit hour 10. I just spent the last hour cutting up more fabric, sewing them into strips, and then cutting them into pieces. So we've kind of refilled my depleted color selection. Um, not too much left to go, um, so I'm going to keep working. I thought we could celebrate hour 11 by showing all of the pixels spread out on the floor. Yeah, oh, keeps going. <laughs> So, it's colorful at the top, those are the balloons, and then right around here, you might be able to see the white of their eyes, and then the bottom. <laughs> it's hour 12, I've started to sew it all together, I'm watching some Batman. <laughs> I've got one, two, three, four five sheets to sew together and there'll be a little bit extra that I need to do. Um, I ran short of yellow, tan, and black so I do have to go to the store a little bit. But um, yeah, uh, hopefully next hour I'll be able to show you the progress of how it's come. Hour 14, nothing really to show. It's a lot of the same. So in that. She progress next hour. Hour 15, it's going. Quilt twist squares the smaller really slow to progress because there's a lot to sew together, so I shouldn't despair. Entering hour 16, it 
feels like we're creeping along. I just hit the eyes of the um, Pika Pichu. I'm on that one, I believe. <laughs> um, forever cleaning the dust out of my machine. These are the amount of squares I have until the next um, quilt update on how far along we are. Um, yeah, let me keep working. Alright, we're entering hour 17. Um, I'm actually making some good time right now. Uh, the last sheet took me, I'd say, two hours to do just one sheet, but I only have three rows left of this one. And then the next sheet, um, I still have maybe 14 rows below that, so technically I think I have three sheets left. Hour 18. So at the very end of this um, page of squares, you'll see right there that um, the blue ends and the reason I'm doing that is because in the actual design um, I for the client we had some embroidery done so when you look at it um, right here it's going to be um, the embroidery so I'm just kinda stopping it and I'm gonna leave this big chunk empty until I actually get the embroidery and then I'll fill it all in so that's kind of what I'm up to right now like I said hour 17 hour 19 and I am super pumped. I just finished that little black spot right there. That means I only have the little tip of his legs and we have to put the embroidery thing in here and we will be done. So I think this is a 20 hour quilt but just kind of wanted to put it out there. Um, I would love for you guys to check out my Facebook or DeviantArt or Tumblr or all of the above, or even just head up my Etsy store and buy yourself a quilt. But um, stay tuned to the first three social media things so that you can see the final product when I finally post it online. Yay!